Yo, what is up? So, welcome back to another episode, and today we got a famous treehouse beer. We really do. One I've never had before, one that I'm really excited to try. Yeah, let's get into this. We even got the uh, treehouse glass. This is called the Island King by Treehouse Brewing. They're obviously from Massachusetts. They've got multiple locations now. They actually just bought a golf course, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I went to the Charlton uh, Brewery in Massachusetts when I picked up this can. So something that's really awesome about Treehouse because they know what they're doing. They know what they're brewing. So they really give a good description of the uh, of the can. So let's uh, let's go over this. It is a double IPA checking at 8.2%. Uh, pouring King Julius, orange in a glass. Island King carries rich notes of overripe tropical fruit, tropical fruit bubble gum, and mango sorbet. A function of simple ingredients excluded with care of diligence. Island King is a beer worth celebrating. Keep it cold at all times and enjoy fresh. All right, so it's cold. It's starting to sweat so yeah let's give this a pour that's it right there Remember those light IPAs I poured and they like exploded into the glass? Like, I feel like this right here is just how it should be. Look at how dank this beer looks, how cloudy, like it just is amazing. Oh my God, I smell so much mango. This smells absolutely delicious. If this didn't come from Treehouse and this came from another brewery and I smelt it, I'd be like, dude, I'm not gonna like this beer. It it smells way too sweet. Let's give this a drink and see if there is more than just sweet, sugary mango. Wow. Guys, so good. It is so good. It's so good. I don't even know what else to say. Like they, so when I went to the brewery, which if you haven't seen that brewery vlog, go check it out. Cause you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. My buddy let me try his peach haze. This reminds me just like that. If you're gonna add like, if you're gonna put mango in a beer, this is how you do it. There's still that beer hoppiness that you still get, but there's just so much mango flavor. It really is a juicy beer. A lot of breweries don't get that right. It's like, okay, you add this fruit, but yeah, it's still pretty hoppy and it's got a lot of beer taste. And it's like, yeah, I can see that you put that fruit in there. You don't really taste it. And then you got the ones where it's like, wow, yeah, okay, this is mango, <laughs> but it's like mango juice and I don't taste any beer. This is the perfect balance. When you drink this beer, at first, when you take your initial sip, it's very hoppy and body and it's beer like, but then after a few seconds, the mango hits like crazy, like crazy, but it's not overly sweet. And it's kind of just lingering. And then after you, you take your first sip and you get that hoppy beer flavor, and then you get your mango flavor, and then as it just rides out, those two kind of just swirl in your pal palate and you're getting very strong hoppy mango flavor. This beer is perfection. Treehouse Brewing. Um, you know, I can't say all good things about them because there are some things that I don't like about that brewery. And it just has to do with them knowing how good they make beer to where they have a cockiness to them. I don't know, when I made their 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 vlog to their treehouse and I tagged them, it's like, oh yeah, we seen it, but we just don't care. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we know we're good, we don't care, we're not gonna add you to our story. Like, whatever, I'm not saying you gotta add me to your story, but you know, when I go to like breweries like Firefly or like Black Hog or something like that, and I like, you know, I show up there and I'm vlogging and I make a video and I do all this hard work and I tag them in it and they share my my video on their story that's that's 
that's nice. It really kind of has that personal touch, that good feedback, and it shows the appreciation of like, hey, you know, you came to our brewery, you're advertising for us pretty much, like that's what I'm doing. Even though, you know, I'm vlogging for myself, I'm still advertising your business. It's kind of like a win-win, help each other out type of thing. Yeah, so Treehouse just, they don't give a fuck. They, they really just don't care. They're like, yeah, we know you're good. Unless you're like Elvis Presley making a fucking vlog. Like if he just rose from the dead, grabbed the camera and started vlogging, we'll put him in the story. But you Connecticut vlogs, no, no. We know we're good. We don't need you to tell us. Thank you, but we don't need to know. Yeah, I mean like whatever. You know, it's Treehouse. They got more money than God. I swear, like they do. Who buys a golf course and just turns the clubhouse into a brewery? Treehouse. But they brew some of the best beers I've ever had and this is one of them. So now that I'm letting the, the beer sit and kind of warm up a little bit, I'm getting less mango and more guava. So that's really interesting. Like, even the smell, even the smell. I still smell mango, but I'm starting to smell the guava a little bit more too. So. That's really interesting. In the beginning of drinking this beer, you're getting nothing but mango. Didn't even know guava was in there. But now, I'm starting to taste the guava a little bit more. So, that, that's just, that's, that's just what craft beer is. It really is. They, they nailed it. Treehouse, you nailed it. And I hope you respect what I'm saying about you guys. Like, you guys are probably one of the best breweries, not only in New England, but probably in this country. Um, you, you are. I'm not gonna knock what you guys do. You guys brew really good beer. But just show some love. Show some love to Connecticut Vlogs. I'm, I'm an hour away from you guys. Well, from Charlton, whatever. You guys got like four breweries and bought a golf course. Like, okay, good for you. I'm glad you got that. I just want a BMW M3. Can you buy me one? I probably paid more for your beer than my payment. My payments would be on the BMW M3 for the next six years. Hook a Connecticut up, man. Show some love. Just put my shit on your story. You got 200 something thousand followers. God, I love you Treehouse. It's a love-hate relationship. That's really what it is. It's a love-hate relationship. Go to your brewery. You got 70 beers on tap, but you're telling me I can only pick three? That's a love-hate relationship. Give me a damn flight. Crowd control. I went there on a Monday. There was like 40 people there. You, you look like you got a goddamn like resort. I'm surprised you don't have an airport there. I do think that I'm going to do a battle between a treehouse beer and the Alchemist Heady Topper. And they mentioned it in this can, King Julius. I had King Julius when I was at the brewery. And it was really good. It was really, really, really good. And I think that, uh, so this is like, you know, they say it's, it's a rendition of King Julius. This is way sweeter than King Julius. I feel like King Julius is, is more of a, more of a balanced beer like, like the Alchemist. You're not getting the, the sweetness that you do in this beer. They, when, when Treehouse adds sweetness to their beer, it's perfection. Because it's super sweet, but you still get a lot of beer flavor, which to me is like very, very, very important. I don't want to sacrifice one for the other. I really want to have that happy medium when it comes to fruit and hoppiness. And I think Treehouse does the best at that. Would this be my favorite beer? No, because it's still slightly too sweet for it to be my favorite beer. However, this is really delicious. It's really good. It is really good. I, at this point, I'm just going based off of my personal preference. But no, it's, it's super sweet. It really is. It's super sweet. And it's super juicy. But it's also pretty hoppy and like bodied with beer flavor. So personally, not my favorite beer, but like still one of the best beers I've ever had. Do you, does that make sense? Am, am I trying, I can't really, I'm trying to do the best I can to explain this. Just fucking buy it. Oh my God. That's it. All of it. Let's rate this beer. Connecticut Vlogs, one through 10. And then I'll tell you what I'm gonna rate it on Untapped. Connecticut Vlog rating of this beer. I'm gonna give it an 8.9. It is 
really good. The only reason why I'm not putting it in the nines is because it is a little sweeter than I like. However, <laughs> I would buy this again. I would buy it again. And if anybody gave it to me, I would probably pay them. It is a phenomenal beer. And for the untapped rating, I'm gonna give it a four. Quote that, somebody quote that. Somebody quote that. Treehouse is the Harry Potter of breweries. Magical. So, thank you for watching this. If you really liked it, I drop a beer review every Friday. Uh, it's called New England Brew With You, and we're just trying to find the best beers here in New England from Connecticut all the way up. Also, if you found me on YouTube, follow my Instagram, Connecticut underscore vlogs. I have more live videos and stories and I always talk about where I'm going next to vlog. So like I'm always down to meet new people, talk to people and just vibe and just have that brewery life. So go follow my Instagram because you'll know where I'm going every weekend. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, get involved. I love all of you and I appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos and just takes the time to really just help me out. So uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next episode. Peace.